Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thanks for watching another Beauty by Jen tutorial video. Today, we're gonna take this little girl and make her into an old lady. So we're gonna be demonstrating old age makeup and teaching you how to do it. <clears throat> the two main things we're gonna be working with are these two eyeliners. This is a dark brown proper liner and this is a white color that's called Pristine. And the first thing Just I'm gonna use- Just you use on the table makeup. Yeah, the first thing we're gonna use is this uh, dark brown pigment color called Infatuated. So I'm taking this Infatuated pigment and just getting a little bit on the edge of my finger and going right underneath her cheekbone and drawing a line towards her ear right underneath her cheek, following her natural cheekbone to create a shadow underneath her cheekbone to kind of give the help give the illusion that her skin's starting to sag down and her face is a little bit more shadowed and sallow. So doing that line and then blending down with this infatuated pigment color. And I'm gonna do the same thing to give her a jowl under her jaw. And I'm gonna start kind of straight down from the corner of her mouth. So just from the very edge of her mouth, straight down towards her jawline. I'm gonna make a little triangle that separates her jawline from where her chin is and go right underneath her jawbone with kind of a swooping motion to just give the impression that her cheek, her jawline is starting to sag a little bit. I'm going to take my proper liner and start giving her crow's feet. I would give her crow's feet just where her crow's feet would naturally happen. If she was a little bit older, I could have her squint. You can see right here, I'm trying to have her grimace and make faces so I can see where her natural lines are on her eyebrows. I'm trying to give her lines where they would naturally be. And creating those creases, those wrinkle creases with this dark brown proper liner. Doing crow's feet and then eye bags right from the corner, uh, inner corner of her eye, and then down around her mouth to give the impression of sagging and wrinkles. Now this is the white pristine liner. It's important to go through and give a little highlight to give dimension to the lines that you just drew. So that it's not just a flat, dark line, <clears throat> but that it looks like there actually is highlight and shadow from the crease. So you go through and fill in in between all of the lines with white to show where the skin would be raised up a little bit before it folded in. I'm just blending this a tiny bit with my finger. Um, a great way to do is to take a clean Q-tip and use that to blend it. I'm actually leaving these creases really dark so that you guys can see them and for kind of a Halloween look. If you wanted it to look more natural, you would take a Q-tip and blend it so that the lines smudged together and didn't look quite so much like stripes, but so that they blurred in quite nicely. And I'm just taking a little bit of infatuated and putting at her temples just to give that hollowed out face look a little bit more of an old person and doing the sides of her nose to make it look like her skin is sagging and her bones are protruding more. Now, just because um, <clears throat> in my mind when I think of little old ladies, I always think of uh, blue eyeshadow and pink lipstick. We're gonna give her just a little bit of this heavenly bright blue eyeshadow on her eyelids and then give her a little bit of pink lipstick so that she's a made up little old lady. So now I'm having her kind of pucker up her lips a little just to give her some lines around the mouth to make her look even older. Just kind of right where her pucker lines are, give her some lines around her mouth. For shadowing, a little pink lip gloss. Just so she can be a fabulous old lady. And a little bit of mascara. And then of course if you wrapped a shawl around her head or sprayed her hair silver, she would look even older. There you have it old age.